let's have a little talk. I just got done making a video. I su suggest you see it. It was on PVC light mods. I was kind of pointing out how one of the best photographers now dead of cancer, Dean Collins, um, while he was using like 20,000 hours of lighting equipment and 30,000 hours of cameras, was using PVC uh, light mods of his own design and creation. And other people were riding that. So here's something else. Apparently somebody doesn't know what high dynamic range photography is. To call something, um, let's see, what are the exact words? A poor, a poor man's dynamic range, which is where you're using a uh, large diffuser panel. Actually, a diffuser panel that is way, 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 way too large for illuminating a single person. It would be good for illuminating a car. Yeah. So you're going to use a diffuser panel that's designed for uh, diffusing the light on a car one that size, you know, instead of for a human being. And then uh, you're going to uh, use uh, some uh, backfill and bring your lighting ra ratios between your uh, shadows and your speculars closer together. Now, you see, here's the problem. High dynamic range we're talking about, it depends on where you set the limit at. Seven stops, eight stops between your specular and your shadows, right? Now, if you bring those closer by removing the variation between your, your far end specular and your uh, your near end shadows. Okay, you take your near end shadows, like on a person's face, and then you're going to raise it so it comes a lot closer to the speculars. That's the exact opposite of HDR. That is LDR. That's low dynamic range. So, <clears throat> see, when you're compress, I've called this specifically, and other uh, real photographers have actually called this um, dynamic range compression. Okay, I call it dynamic range compression too. I call it lighting compression. What you're doing is you're shortening the dynamic range. It's also what's really important too in high-speed sync photography is that you're shortening the dynamic range. Say you've got the sun behind your shoulder and someone's face is in shadow. Well, high-speed sync photography lets you shoot wide open, for example, for the appropriate bouquet that you want. You're exposing for your uh, ambient illumination, in this case the sun behind someone's shoulder. And then you're raising up the person's illumination with a speed light or studio strobe. So not only are you are doing HSS, you're able to open up at f2.8 and say shoot at 1 4,000th of a second. But you're also bringing in the uh, shadow. Everything is about lighting ratios, but nobody's taught lighting ratios anymore because nobody has any sense anymore. No, we don't. We don't have any sense. I think they call it the Pac-Man generation when you're brought up on video games. My generation is brought up on video games too, except I didn't partake. Um, so no, it's not poor man's HDR when you use a diffuser over top of someone's face. What you're doing is you're cutting out the strong specular and then using a reflector over here. Only thing you're doing is you're taking the dynamic range, let's say it's eight stops between your ambient, which is really strong, and your shadows, like the shadow side of someone's face, and you're bringing them close together. So that technically would not be a poor man's HDR photography. What that would be is an intelligent photographer's LDR, low dynamic range. See, high dynamic range, shadow specular, shadow specular. Get closer, 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 low dynamic range, LDR. Eight stops of difference, four stops of difference, roughly. It could be two or one stop, you know, it depends on how you light it. What sort of dynamic range you give as far as shadow separation, your midtones and your speculars? Yeah. Doing this is not high dynamic range. This is low dynamic range. So calling this a poor man's high dynamic range is technically, existentially, empirically, and emphatically incorrect. Incorrect. I hate it when people text me. That pisses me off so much. I hate texting. There's my phone and my iPad. I go bing, bing, bing. Nothing pisses me off more than when someone texts me. I hate that crap. Um, <laughs> don't take it personally, all right? So no, that's not high dynamic range. That's low dynamic range. So I thought I would give you a lesson in what some other professional photographers are calling a, a poor man's high dynamic range. Because that's not what it is. It's the exact opposite. It is low dynamic range. I could actually make a sexual innuendo joke about something instead of being like this. <laughs> it's like this, and you go, no, that's like a, 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 
Uh, you, you get where I'm going with that one, right? 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 <laughs> it's like, it's really big. It's like, this is big too. It's like, no, it's not. It's not. It, this is big. This is not big. <laughs> yeah, this is low dynamic range. Like if the sun's beating down, you stick a diffuser panel here and like a reflector over here. Then what's happened is you've, you've taken the dynamic range of the natural scene with no reflectors, no nothing, and you've gone, wah, by adding that diffuser and that silver or gold reflector. Did I make myself clear? Yeah. I think I did. You repeated yourself enough. I think you did make it clear. Good, I hope so. I hope so. If you like this video, you could drop a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Do whatever makes you happy. Bye. <laughs> oh, my leg is killing me.